Hi, my name is Greg Paglia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the process, warranty, and cost of silicone roof coating systems. And this really came about because someone came to our site, they're looking at reducing their tear off on their roof and they're like, can I just put some coating or some special paint over my roof and get a new warranty? And the answer is yes, in some circumstances. Uh, so today I wanted to discuss that a little bit. The first thing is, if you give us a call, um, we're gonna have a discovery call about the cur current conditions of your roof. So we're gonna ask you about the seams. Are they in good condition? Are they not in good condition? Um, has there been annual maintenance on your roof at all? So if your roof's been totally neglected for years, um, it might not be eligible to receive a coating system and receive that warranty that you're seeking. And then we're gonna talk about the uh, saturation in your roof's insulation. So you have the roof membrane and then underneath you're gonna have the insulation. And if the roof is more than 25, 30% saturated, it's probably not a good candidate to receive a silicone roof coating system and you might have to resort to a complete tear off. So that's kind of the question we're gonna ask you in a discovery call. Um, next thing someone asked me is, what equipment even gets brought to a job site? And really it's just a box truck. Uh, it's got 55 gallon drums in it with a coating in it and it gets heated up and mixed and it just gets run up through a hose up the side of your building and on your building is a couple roofers with a gun. They just simply fluid apply it on your roof system. That's pretty much it. So not a lot of equipment um, at all. Uh, people ask me what prep work happens um, and how's it kind of installed. Um, so there's some prep work that needs to be done. The roof needs to be dry, clean, and sound. So we'll go on there and we'll pull some core samples. We'll do an infrared inspection to identify where that wet insulation is. We'll remove those areas and replace them with dry material. Um, there are some seam treatments that are involved, so we'll put some coating down, put a dry mesh over it, and put some more coating down just to make sure the seams are intact and there's gonna be no issues there. And then um, pretty much power wash the roof and put some coating down. Um, that's pretty much it, it's fluid applied, uh, it's pretty simple, and uh, just make sure the right millage is there and uh, you'll get your warranty. Um, some people ask, how long is the warranty or what kind of warranty options do I get? Uh, usually it's 10, 15, or 20 years. So a 10 year warranty will get 20 mils of coating and a 20 year warranty will get 30 mils of coating. And now a mil is 1,000th of one inch, very minimal. So make sure you're working with a roofing contractor that is trustworthy and will tell you if you got 20 or 30 mils because it's pretty hard to tell from the naked eye. And the last thing people ask about cost, everyone wants to know how much something costs and then what factors may go up or down. Um, standard cost is two to four dollars per square foot now that was the summer of 2021. There's been a lot of product shortages, um, labor issues, and you know what's going on. So the cost, I don't wanna say double, but it might be. It's just very volatile right now. The price could be great one day and lower the next day. So just talk with your roofing contractor and they'll give you the most up-to-date pricing. But stuff that makes it go up or down, you know, regardless of material is the size of your roof. So if you have a huge roof or a small roof, you know, the larger roof will have a lower cost per square foot just because their standard setup cost, the safety setup, no matter what size roof you have, um, the amount of insulation that needs to be removed. So a roof that needs 2% removed versus a roof that needs 20% removed. There's a huge difference in labor and landfill costs, etc. And then also with the uh, level of warranty that you want. A uh, 10 year warranty takes a lot less coating than a 20 year warranty takes. So there's a lot of variables that made the cost go up or down, but like I said, I can't give you a concrete number just because the market's so volatile and every roof um, is very different. Um, that's pretty much it today. I hope you learned at least one thing new today. If you wanna learn anything more about this topic, please click below. Uh, there's a link to the URL for the full blog post. And uh, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next time. Thank you.